What is up my dudes? Kevin here. We are back with a brand new Red Dead Online video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys an awesome way to earn money, gold, and XP in one single technique. So if you guys enjoy this, drop a like down the video and comment down below. What do you think of this technique and what is your favorite way to earn money or level up in Red Dead Online? Besides that, subscribe to the channel and let's get this going. So like I said in the intro of today's video, we're going to be doing a method where we can earn money, gold, and XP in one single technique, which is the great part about this. Now, as you guys also know, there's a huge update coming to Red Dead Online next week on February 26th, where we're going to receive a lot of new content. So it's important that you guys level up, earn money before this comes, so you're prepared for the new content that comes, because it may be level sensitive. You may have to be a certain level to buy certain items, and obviously you're going to need money to buy the new weapons. So it's a good time to start grinding out these methods to earn money and XP I myself I definitely need to level up I've been slacking on that so I'm gonna be grinding this method in particular for the upcoming update now the technique that we're gonna be using is based off of stranger missions you guys already know what stranger missions are but we're gonna be incorporating hunting into these stranger missions and also another technique that's gonna help us earn even more money and XP while doing these missions so the first thing you want to do is pick a location that you want to start at. I recommend somewhere that you guys are very familiar with the area and you know where to hunt or fish so you don't waste no time while doing these missions. The best stranger mission in the game to do is actually right here at Wild Station. I already completed this today and I'll have to wait another in-game day which is only like 15 minutes or so. It's not too long but I'm kind of short on time. So if you guys want to start out with this one I would highly recommend it. Angus gives the most rewarding missions in Red Dead Online stranger mission wise. But because we already did that, I'm going to start here at Valentine, which this one also gives some pretty good money. So as you guys can see, we got a recovery mission, which is one of the mission types you can get from these stranger missions. There's a few different types in total that you can get, but pretty much all of them are similar in a way. Once you reach the first part of these missions, it starts a 20 minute timer where you have a 20 minute timer to basically complete the mission, which is plenty of time for us to do some hunting and earn some extra money as we go. Now with these missions, the longer you take to complete them, the more rewards you will receive, which doesn't really make sense. I would think it would be the opposite way around. The faster you do it, the bigger rewards you get, but it's not. So you want to wait till like the last 30 seconds or so to complete these missions to earn a huge increase in money and XP and gold that you normally would receive if you did them fast. But here I am at the area, and once you guys get to the location, it usually starts a timer right there. Boom, 20 minute timer, and you have 20 minutes to complete at this point. So once it does start, you guys want to go as fast as you can to clear out this mission. So basically at this point, you guys want to clear it out as fast as possible. So just start killing everyone. Do not hesitate, boys. So there we go. I took them all out, and there's the stagecoach. Now, actually, before you guys go ahead... I want you to simply hop on the stagecoach, but do not ride it. Just hop on it to see where the final point is. So if we open up a map here, the final point is actually here at Valentine, which is absolutely perfect. I would normally recommend that you guys don't even touch the stagecoach. Just leave it where it is if it's in the opposite direction of where you want to hunt, as these things are pretty slow. But I'm going to go ahead and ride this on over to Valentine, and we're going to begin hunting at Valentine, which is a very great location to hunt at, which is why I chose this area to start at. So I'll see you guys in a second, and I'll show you guys where you should be hunting while doing this. So here we go. We made it onto the location. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and leave the car right here. We have about 17 minutes to hunt, which is plenty. So, at this point, let's grab our horse and let's waste no time. A good place to hunt is right over here at this house up here. There's a nice little pig pen where you guys can get some three-star pigs and sell those. And up north is a nice little sheep area as well. And to this little western area, there's also bucks. So, this area is filled with some great stuff to hunt. We're going to start with the pigs over here, though. So, boom. Just like I said, here are the pigs. I'm gonna leave my horse right here now these pigs you guys are going to lasso and knife them so you don't damage them pick out the three star ones obviously so you guys get the better of the batch so here's the three star lasso them up stab them we'll throw them on a horse then we'll grab one more to bring two animals with you to the butcher all you have to do is simply lasso the one on the ground you guys will have an extra pig to bring with you and same deal with him at this point we'll load him up on our horse take him onto the butcher then we'll go for the sheep this is going to be back and forth at that point until the time is about five minutes or so. You want to give yourself a good amount of time to get back to the location that you need to go to. But since my car is already where it needs to be, I'm going to just wait to the last 30 seconds or so, and that should be plenty. All right, so here's what I'm talking about the lasso. Just hit it with your lasso. Now you're going to ride and carry it as you go. Let's head on to the butcher here. We should have no problems with this at this point. All right, so here we go. Here's the first batch. We'll sell all this fat right here. We got the meat. That's 225 in total. 
both these skins 60 cents a dollar for that four dollars 240 so right there that's already a nice little pocket change right there so at this point let's grab a horse we we'll head up to the sheeps do pretty much the same exact thing but with sheeps okay unfortunately the sheep aren't here so what we're gonna do is head on down here and get ourselves some turkeys and deer which i know are in this location also you could actually let me show you guys at nighttime especially since there's not a lot of people around you guys could even go down here to the little uh, pen area and there's tons and tons of pigs and sheeps here for you guys to sell. So I'm actually going to do that first and then we'll head down to the, get some deers. Now usually this is a little difficult to do as there's a lot of you know bystanders around. They will call the police. But we should be good. Yeah, so this guy actually did call the sheriff on me. So I'm going to load this one up and we're just going to head on out and get ourselves a deer because it's not even worth risking the sheriffs around. All right, so we got some turkeys here. We'll skin these. I kind of ran them over with my horse back since so the quality is completely ruined. But we'll still grab the feathers. These go for some little decent money. Well, I completely forgot. I think because I'm in a private session, this wanted thing literally doesn't even affect me, which is great. So actually, I didn't even have to leave those uh, sheep and pigs. All right, there's actually a whole new batch of them here. So it's actually worked out for the better. Let's see if there's a three star round for us. No, these are all two stars. Don't care about those. Uh, here we go. Here's a three star. Let's grab him. Stab him up. And then we'll bring these onto the bushes for another batch to sell. Pretty much we're going to rinse and repeat until we're about 30 seconds or so. Then we'll grab the cart, complete the mission, and get even more on top of what we already got here. Did not mean to skin that. All right, so let's sell this batch super quick. Again, we got all this meat, 180. Got the turkey stuff, blah, blah, blah. All this meat, another 180. Two sheep hides, three bucks. That's good money. Carcass, good money. Boom, and the deer. So already we made a decent amount of money, guys. I got enough time for probably one more super quick run. So let's see what I can find. And then we're going to have to turn this quest in. We want to make sure that you guys do not forget to turn the quest in. Because that's where we're going to get the bulk of money and XP from this method. Okay, so it's getting down to 120. So we're going to be cutting it close. I'm not even going to skin this pig. I'm just going to throw it on the back of the horse. We're going to quickly sell it to butchers. And then we're going to hurry up and turn in this quest. Go, come on, come on, come on. Actually, at this point, there's not, there's no point of even risking it. If you have the extra stuff on your horse, you honestly might as well just turn in the quest, play it safe, and then just sell the stuff afterwards. There's no point of risking it. I don't know why I was even thinking that. So you'll notice once it hits the 30 second mark, it's going to get red like that. At this point, you guys are good to turn it in and you'll get the extra bonus on top of what you normally would get, which is a lot less than what we're going to get. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on in, guys, right here. Boom. And as you'll see on the right, we're going to get money, gold, and XP. It's going to be a quite decent amount. All right, so boom, 0.24 gold. That's a ton, 24 bucks, and 658 XP. Guys, that is a lot altogether. Plus, we got the money from all the animals we killed during this. So, in total, you guys are looking at some really good money. But the best part is we get all three things that we need in Red Dead Online. And I still got more stuff to sell. And remember, like I said, this isn't even the highest earning Stranger Mission out there. There's one where you earn even more. So keep that in mind and pick out specific spots where you guys know where to hunt. Valentine I'm pretty familiar with, so that's why I chose this area. But if you guys want to do roads or Blackwater or something like that, go ahead. It does not really matter. So I'm going to go ahead, finish this last batch. And that's going to be about it. I'll show you guys how to do the private lobbies quickly. All right, so here's the last batch we had. And a pretty good one. So let's sell all the... Well, hey. At least we completed the main part of it before we disconnected. I can see Red Dead Online has not fixed this issue. But anyways, that was about it for the technique. Regardless, I would have just gained an extra 15 or so dollars. So let me show you quickly how to do this private lobby method now. So what you want to do if you guys want to do a private lobby while doing this, which is what I recommend, is press left on your D-pad, go to players, go to recent players. If there's nobody on this list, simply join a showdown, then leave, and there'll be players on the list. Click on a name. And go to join session once you guys click join session on them hit the middle button on your controller to bring you to the dashboard so just like this i'm going to go up to settings go over here we're going to go to network disconnect connect back out go back to the game and it's going to reload us in you should see this screen press ok press ok then give it a second it'll pop up here in one moment and once it does Click free room again, and this will load you guys into a private session, and that's about it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down on it and comment down below. What do you think of this method? Anything to add into it? What's your favorite spot to hunt? Besides that, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time for a brand new video. Peace.